One way to make your flyer designs look professional is to ensure you use margins to guide your layout. Margins help you not to place text or important elements outside the cut line. It also gives your flyer a well-aligned and professional look. And this is the first thing you should do before you begin a flyer design. Next on the list is about your use of images. To achieve a professional looking flyer design, stick to high quality images and never opt for low quality or pixelated images. Your image sends a great message to your target audience. From my personal analysis, it has about 70% impact on how your target audience reacts to your flyer design. So for this reason, you have to make a perfect representation of any image you choose for your flyer design. Next on the list, always make creative focal points. Apart from images, the first element that attracts the attention of your target audience is your focal point. While your images gives a more explanation of your focal point. Your focal point should take the lead before any other element in your design, considering visual hierarchy. That is to say, your focal point should be your most important element and the element you want your viewers to see first in your design. So for that, you have to add some creative design effects on your focal point to make your flyer design look professional. Next on the list, don't be afraid of white space. White space is also known as negative space. And the fact that it is called white space does not mean the space should remain white. It simply means you should never fill all the spaces in your design. Take a look at these two examples. No one will go for design A and I will go for design B. Now that's the feeling when you fill all spaces in your design. The last point is connected to the previous point and that is the use of proximity. Proximity is one of the gestalt principle of design which says that elements that are closer together are perceived to be more related than elements that are further apart. Proximity helps you to organize objects by their relatedness to other objects. That is to say, the way you group similar elements in your design is guarded by proximity. The space between such elements forms white or negative space. So for proximity, it means every group of related elements should be together and not far from each other. If you can stick to these few rules, Get set to see your clients talking about your designs.